Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance of the U.S. and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please remain standing for the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. May you please remain standing for a moment of silence. You now be, be seated. Good morning, Donna North High School. This is Bernadette Gossett, your principal here at this magnificent school. And yes, I do have laryngitis because I have bronchitis over the holidays and it takes a long time to get over. But here to help me this morning, I have Mr. Christopher on head who is a theater arts director. Welcome, Mr. Christopher. Thank you. Thank it's you good so to much. Have you here. I love being here. Thank you for Thank allowing me to you. do these announcements. You have very good diction also. Thank you. I try. And very pretty teeth. Oh, well, I paid for them. <laughs> okay. Um, did you all know that it's soccer season? Um, the weekend before last, the boys won uh, second place at the soccer tournament in um, Mission. And Mission beat them, but only by one point. Soccer stuff to make point. Ooh. Yeah. But it's an awesome, awesome game. We're real proud of you, young man. Um, congratulations, Mr. Sanchez and Mr. Zuniga. Um, I know that you all are ranked number eight in the state, so congratulations. Uh, the girls have also been doing well, so good luck and continue the good work. Um, it's basketball season also for the boys and the girls. They're still having their games. Uh, baseball and softball season are coming up, and so is track. So keep those things in mind. Um, they're gonna the choir uh, department is gonna have a solo contest in Brownsville next week. So we at, wish them very very good luck at Hannah at so. Homer Hannah High School in Brownsville. Mm -hmm. I worked at Homer Hannah High School in Brownsville when oh, I was yeah? a teenager. Yeah, That's nice. it was nice. I worked in the office. Oh, it was really it was really fun. Uh, got to meet some people there. Got to meet the principal. I don't know what his name was, but anyway, it was fun. <laughs> that was back when I was a junior in high school. <laughs> well, great. In other news, we have the CLPAC subcommittee on campus safety and uh, security that'll be occurring as well, and we have our theme for Parents Night, which yes. is going to be a carnival. Carnival. Yes. That's going to be fun. Yes. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and work amongst ourselves to see what sort of things we can do to attribute to this theme so we can make it very exciting for the parents. We have a lot of things going on this spring semester, as you know, for UIL Fine Arts and all of the other extracurricular activities. Mm -hmm. We have One Act Play. Also, Mariachi will be going to UIL State. So if you ever see a mariachi, go ahead and give him a pat on the back and give him your support. Also, we Mr. have Sanchez, Mr. Sanchez as well, esteemed, esteemed, yes. esteemed master of his art. We do appreciate all the successes he's had since he's been here from the junior high. By the way, Mr. Donahan, they had a board meeting to thank the board members for all the wonderful things they do for us. And they had the Donna High School mariachi band playing first. But then they had Donna North High School uh, mariachi go up there, and the instrument, instruments were loud. The boy that sang was magnificent, and I should know his name because I know who he is. It was wonderful. And then afterwards, the superintendent, Dr. Aziz, got up and said that Donna North High School is going to go to state in UIL. Awesome. Isn't that awesome? Very good. I thought it was exciting. Very good, very good, very good. Very outstanding. Things have changed significantly for the better since he's been here. Yes, That's yes. That's awesome. Excellent. Well, um, would you like to elaborate on any of these things? Um, no, just that, did you talk about your one act play? Yes, one act play will be taking place during March, before spring break and after spring break. So we'll be working on that. We have been working on that actually since we got back from break. Uh, we will be doing a presentation of our one-act play for the school in May. So we're going to make it bigger than what we would make it for our UAL uh, competition so that you all can enjoy it. How many minutes do you have to be on stage? We have 40 minutes. How many minutes do you have to set up? Seven minutes. And seven minutes to break down. Uh -huh. There's all, you have a lot of rules. 
A lot of rules. A lot of rules. Yeah. What's the name of your show? Eurydice by Sarah Rule. Mm -hmm. So we have a lot we have a lot going on there. We're gonna to try to make it a very much concert, light show, musically infused party on stage. With yeah. a little bit of tears. Oh, who, doesn't that's like good. Good, who doesn't like a good cry? Yes, I like it. <laughs> I like good cries. But also if y'all don't if if y'all didn't go to the fall show, you missed a big deal. It was Mary Poppins Jr. Amazing. I felt like I was on in New York on Broadway watching a show. That's how amazing it was. Y'all did a very, very good job. Those of y'all didn't go, that didn't go, you missed a good one. You better be making it from here on out. Mr. Rangel, the the fine arts department, which was Mr. Rangel, he put on the show. Mr. Guerrero, the choir. Mr. Yeah. Guerrero, the choir. Yes, the choir director. Oh. Miss, uh, also, we have Art. Mm -hmm. Art did a, an amazing mm -hmm. job with their artistry. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, they really stepped up. They doubled in all of their murals and their designs. So, you know, we owe a lot to them. Also, our whole fine arts department, we've received a lot of support as well from Ms. Casitas. So, we're just going to try to go full throttle from here on out and make them bigger and better. Better. It Better was, like in the positive sense. It was a huge set, so we're real excited about that. Not only that, we are going to be having benchmarks tomorrow for the um, English one, and then on Wednesday, uh, January the 30th. Yes. It's two days, the 28th, and then tomorrow's the 29th for English one, and then on Wednesday's English two, the 30th. So students uh, that have... Uh, are in English 1 and English 2 and have not taken the EOC before, you will be taking a benchmark. A benchmark means that we want to know how much you know so that when you take it um, in April, um, you will do a great job because whatever you don't know right now, this test is going to let us know and that way you can learn it for when you're going to take the test in April. And then the rest, Algebra 1, uh, Biology, and U.S. History will be done in May. So please be, prepa be prepared if you are in those classes. Um, I had, went and did some walkthroughs last week. I was amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I went to see Mr. Gonzalez in math. I learned how the X, the X axis and the Y axis. And I was able to help a young lady. First, I had Mr. Gonzalez teach it to me, and then I taught it to her because I was, like, not doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. So, because math is not my thing, English and history are. So, that was really good, Mr. Gonzalez. You did an amazing job. Um, I went into some English classrooms. Um, they were very good also. But um, the things that, that I saw that shouldn't be happening in classrooms is students... You should not be using your cell phones in the classroom. You should not be texting. You should not be listening to music. All of that. So I'm going to make it mandatory from now on that the teachers collect your cell phones as soon as you get into the classroom because they are very distracting unless you're going to be using your device to look up information. So please be aware of that, student, uh, that your phone will be collected if you're not going to be using it as part of your... Um, lesson plan because they're very distracting. I was sitting with a young lady, two young ladies, and one of them was texting while the teacher was trying to teach, which was not a good thing. But the teacher did a good job, but that is something that I'm going to have to implement because it just this, this, the work does not get done. But yep. And just to reiterate, students coming from the principal, no cell phones in class. Yes. You may use them during lunch break, in between classes, when you're traveling from class to class. But do be aware that that is a distraction, but not only because it's an English 1 class, but in every class. If you're in English 3 or in English 4, you're taking CC or AP classes. So make sure that you're doing everything that you can to get that CC credit, college credit, because then you'll use it. You don't have to take it when you're in college. So, Speaking of CCL, what about CCMR? I'm oh, CCMR also. We're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna start having our CCMR uh, meetings again, which is co career, college, military ready. Everybody, every student in this high school has to be career, college, or military ready. 
So you're either on a path to go into a career and you're going into a, a path of being a, a nurse and you're taking exams and you're getting a certificate that counts. That's a, that's a good one point for you and a good one point for the, for the high school and that's how we get our report card is you know making sure that all of you because ultimately we have to make sure as educators that you are ready for college that you are ready for a career, whether you go on to welding, because we have a nationally uh, known welding uh, class here in the district. It's at Donna High School, but 10 of our kids go and 10 of Donna High School kids are in that class. Um, as a welder, some welders get up to like 70 or 80, 90 dollars an hour. Uh, More figure. than I've what? Heard, I heard some welders make six-figure six salaries, so six figure that's something to consider if you want to work in that vocation. So, mm -hmm. just knowing uh, being CCM already creates a place for every student after high school, and you don't want to waste time after high school. Right. So you either have a certificate to go on to a career, and you can use that to um, have money while you go to college, or that can be your career. Or you can go into the military. We have very good, uh, we have uh, several students that are in the military. I know one young man, one of our teachers, Ms. Lizette Kirpin, her um, uh, son is in the military and we wish him well and we pray for him every day. So please make sure you pray for our students and wish them well that are in the military because they are fighting to keep our country free and um an independent country and and if you're ever curious feel free to ask one of your instructors or someone about going to college after your military service because unbeknownst to you there are many educational opportunities either during your time in the military or post military you can get all of your education taken care of at multiple universities most of them so feel free to ask if you do want to go to college but you're intimidated by the idea of debt you were in the military I was well part of the military. I was in the Navy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. That's exciting. I paid for my whole college and some of my graduate school. So there is a way. Always. There's always a way if you're willing to put forth the effort. So um, that's it for the morning announcements. Students, so thank you very much for listening and partaking with us here today. Thank you, Mr. Don Hand. You my did pleasure. an amazing job. Thank you. Um, thank you, girls, for um, videotaping this. There's always somebody behind the camera. So thank you very much. You should, should come say hi so they know. <laughs> They're saying no. Thank you so much because remember, it's always a good day to have a great day here at Donald North High School.